what's up guys welcome back to the channel i'm really excited to be here today because i feel it's time to film a life update there's been several things that have gone on since quitting my notary business i posted that video i don't know how long ago it was maybe eight months ago not quite sure but i wanted to let you all know the things that has happened in my new company and i wanted to just kind of like catch all up on a couple of things so let's just jump right into it this video is going to be like a life update plus goal setting because you know there's so many things that i want to do they have been in my journal they've been on paper and notebooks they have been in my head i just want to share some goals with you all because i want to hold myself accountable and i love filming content so what better way to do it than to marry those two things together and just put it out there so that you know i can no longer live in my head with these goals but let's talk about the life update i don't know why i feel so nervous maybe it's because it's been quite some time since i sat down and i filmed a video but pardon me for feeling a little bit antsy <laughs> i'm sorry about that it just feels a little bit strange also i hope the lighting is okay it's kind of late in the day it's um oh my god it's almost seven o'clock so i'm just filming with natural light in front of my window and yeah i tried to film this video earlier this morning while i was driving to do some business but <laughs> most of the video was filmed in slow mo so the most impactful thing that has happened in my life this year was my mom passing it's totally heartbreaking, um, totally devastated. I still feel extremely hurt. It's only been four months, but it's so hurtful. I think about her so many times throughout the day. I see her everywhere, like literally everywhere. Everything reminds me of her. I hear her words. I hear the, the things that she imparted toward me. And I, a lot of times I hear also her confidence in me. I love my mom so much, y'all. And it's been a really tremendous loss. It's been very, very hard. One thing my mom always taught me to do was to figure things out. And I appreciate that lesson that she has given me throughout my entire life to figure things out. My mom, she always had a lot of confidence in me too. So I'm sorry that, you know, I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing for crying. I just don't want to be emotional. I, I don't want to be crying. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, I'm just gonna just let it flow. Just gonna talk to y'all. But yeah, it's just been, um, it's still very raw. It's still very, very raw. That's been the biggest thing. If you saw this video here, then you probably already knew that. Losing my mom really made me step back from a lot of things because I really wanted to be able to process the gravity of the loss and to work through my emotions. I didn't want to cover it up and mask it up with work or some other sort of distraction. I wanted to go through the feelings. I didn't want to be down the road several months or years and then it hits me terribly and I have a nervous breakdown or something. I was trying to honor her and also honor myself and not allow myself to just completely cave in. Not cave in, that's not the right word, but to completely sink. I did definitely need to take a lot of time and I'm still taking time. I, I still take time. I take time every single day um, and I journal in a grief journal and that has helped me because initially when I first lost her, I just kept looping through the same thoughts and some of the same memories and they weren't the things that I wanted to remember the most, if you know what I mean. The grief journal has helped me to kind of push out of that. Um, there's been lots of support from friends, family, um, lots of prayer, and that has helped me. Even though things are still very raw, I'm kind of ready to start working a little bit more. Fortunately, I've been able to take the time to really grieve my mom. I've been able to take the time without having to be back at work because my bereavement is up or PTO is up. So that's the beautiful thing about working for yourself, creating an opportunity for yourself. And I'm so, so grateful for it. 
So anyway, things that, uh, uh, another life update is in my business. So in my business, like I told you guys, maybe about eight months ago, I'm not sure how long it was that I was quitting my notary business. Guys, I am so thankful for the notary business because the notary business took me out of the bank, which I desperately wanted to get out of. So the notary business allowed me to leave the bank and the notary business also allowed me to work on my mindset. When I started the notary business, ironically enough, I knew that it wasn't going to be the business that I stayed in. I said that from the very beginning that it was only to fund other business ideas. And the business idea I had at the time was to do like Airbnb hosting. I'm no longer interested in Airbnb hosting. I've opened up a procurement company, which I talked about in this video right here. It's ironic because I was in the notary business as a notary and as a coach. And when I was doing that, I essentially felt like, man, I'm never gonna be able to just like leave one or both avenues of revenue because I had just kind of gotten used to the revenue from both of them. You know, if you're a notary, you know that you could just pop in an, on an assignment. You could click that you're available for an assignment and be assigned. And it's like, woo, go, 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 you know, things of that nature. And you're on the go, you're printing documents, you're headed to the signer's house. And it was just so tempting to always grab that $150, grab that $75, grab that $200, whatever dollar amount the signing was paying. It was always really tempted to just grab it and so I had to really sit with myself one day and just decide that, Leah, this is really not what you want to be doing. So move toward what you actually want. So the way I moved toward what I actually wanted was to close down all my notifications, was to film a video on YouTube, letting y'all know I was quitting the business. About why I am quitting my notary business. To be completely transparent with you all, because honesty is definitely a pillar that I value in my life. And then it's also something that I always impart to my viewers. So I just like took my name off of the different platforms and when title companies would call, it was hard to tell them no because I built a relationship, but I started to tell them no, I don't, I'm not a notary anymore. I'm not working in that capacity anymore. And I also decided to just like stop answering my Google business page. So I sold my Google business page. So all those different things, I just completely removed notary stuff and forgot about the income that came with it to focus on this business. And thank God that I did guys, because this year, not counting anything that we did last year, but this year alone, I have secured $312,000 for my business. Yes, and I'm not talking, when I say secure, I'm not talking about funding or anything like that. I'm talking about contracts that I have in place for my business, $312,000 is what I have done. If I'm not leaving anything out, I'm not sure if I am or not. But anyway, that's what I have done. So I never ever imagined that that's where I would be in this brand new company that I started less than a year ago. You know what I mean? Um, it's just to me totally amazing. This opportunity has been mind-blowing to me it's been very exhilarating and in the time of losing my mom i'm so grateful for it because my income did not stop even though i stopped working i have employees in my business my employees work monday through friday that has just basically trained them and just kind of like kept my business going in the way that it needs to go so my day just kind of consisted of like doing administrative stuff in my business, like running payroll, maybe responding to an email or two, you know, in a week, nothing major, nothing, nothing major. So yeah, I'm super, super grateful for it. And I'm grateful for the notary business because it helped to mold my mindset. It helped to mold me. If I found out about what I'm doing now before the notary business, I wouldn't have even jumped on it. So I'm so grateful for those steps. I have no regrets in the order that I found things out and in the order that I executed. So with that being said, y'all, let's kind of just talk about some goals. First and foremost, my utmost goal as it relates to improving myself is to, to heal. There are so many things that I need to heal from. And I bought this book, like Healing Your Inner Child, and I'm really been enjoying digging into that book. I also am healing from the loss of my sweet, 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 beautiful mom. What a precious, 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 
precious, precious mom, healing from the loss of her. In addition to that, I want to earn more in my business. So my goal, I have lots of business goals, which I don't want to bore y'all and kind of go through all those business goals, but I want to hit a million dollars in revenue. So we're more than a fourth of the way there. And considering that I took off several months in this year, because my mom died toward the beginning of the year, considering that I took off several months in this year and we're at that $300,000 mark, I think that's pretty amazing. I want to hit the million dollar mark in revenue before now profit would be excellent <laughs> but my goal is to hit a million dollars in revenue before the year is up so by december 31st or before that the year is up so next year of course the goal will increase the goal won't be the same next year because you know things will more than likely look very different from the way they looked this year including my team growing and my knowledge growing too. So that's one of the goals. Um, another goal is just self-improvement in general. Like I love to improve on myself. I want to continuously improve on my personality, improve on my habits, and, and that's all aspects of life. So let's just kind of like dig into some of those habits that I want to improve on. Um, I want to improve on my eating habits. I feel like my weight is out of control. Like my arms and i hope this is not triggering to anyone but my arms are super flabby this double chin is taking over i got a apron belly that's sitting in my lap all sorts of things that i don't desire to have there's nothing wrong with these things on your body if you are okay with it personally i am uncomfortable with it and again i hope that this is not triggering to anybody. It's just that I'm uncomfortable with it because this is not what I am used to. But I do understand that I don't always make the best choices when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to fitness and things like that. So I want to change it. And on my channel, I just want to show you all my process, my vulnerable process, my very transparent process of improving myself in those aspects. It's kind of hard to show you the improvement of the financial stuff because it's kind of hard to show you the improvement of that part portion is basically it's just me putting in proposals for different types of things and winning those proposals or winning those jobs and then executing on those jobs so it's kind of hard to show that I'll try to show some of the day-to-day -day of that stuff but that's not really my focus I just want to my income to increase but more than my income increasing, I want to control my spending too. This has been an extremely emotional year for me. And when I go in the store, sometimes I just get a little bit too wow. Sometimes, you know, it just, yeah. Like I might say, okay, I'm not spending more than this amount or I'm only coming in here for these two items. And I end up with so many other things and it's emotional spending. And I'm not hard on myself because, you know, my lights are on, my, my bills are paid and everything like that. And I acknowledge that I went through a lot of troubling things. So I'm not coming down on myself so hard that, wow, Leah, you spent $300 at the store. Wow, Leah, you could have put that in your savings account. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm not a extreme budgeter, even though I love to budget. Um, I do have some financial goals and I do need to tighten up with like, you know, spending, um, when I go into the stores and stuff like that, but, uh, because it's really not what you make, but it's what you keep, but what you make is very important too, but I want to be able to keep more of that money. I told you all in a video, I want to say the beginning of this year, the end of last year that I, um, plan on buying a home before my lease is up my lease is up at the end of the year so I have like six months so I really have to like tighten up and just like you know get really really focused on that process so I want to take you guys along with me with all these different things um I don't know how much I weigh currently but I know that I want it to change I'm going to start something called the elimination diet I saw a dietitian maybe two years ago mentally I wasn't fully committed to the process, but I really feel like I'm in a better place to commit to the process of eliminating different allergens, food allergens out of my diet and just see how my body responds to it. And then kind of choose a nutrition plan from there and then choose choosing the exercise and stuff like that from there too. So I have health, fitness, nutrition goals. 
I also have the goals of a closer relationship with God. Like that's a given. I feel like I don't even need to say that because that's like always in the forefront of my mind. That's something I prioritize like on a daily basis. In addition to that, I also want to do better in life in general. Do better, have more ease, have more relaxation. Um, I've shared with you all in the past that sometimes I'll hit some of my goals and then I won't reward myself for it. So it's all work and no play. So I wanna play more. So another one of my goals is to go on vacation. I want to go on like a little getaway or vacations at least every other month. You know, I don't think that's too much to ask because it's not asking, but you know what I'm saying. I don't think it's too much to do, especially since I could kind of take my work with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have to be physically in an office or physically on location. I could still work if I choose to work or if some sort of thing comes up, but the goal is not to work while I'm there, but to really just like take some time and, you know, just like, you know, vacation, really see more of the world. I'm really more interested in seeing more of the United States because I've been to several countries, but that's another story for another day. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this life update. So I'm going to be more consistent on YouTube because I really like to create and I feel more like myself when I'm creating. I don't decorate anymore for a living. So that creative outlet is gone. So YouTube is a really good way for me to be able to like get back into my creative zone and create content for you guys and create content to hold myself accountable too. Cause I go and I'll watch my videos back again. I'll be like, oh wow, yeah, I did say I was gonna do that. Let me get, go ahead and get that done. So if my channel inspires just one person, I'm super excited about that. I'm very happy about that. If I'm able to motivate enough one person, I'm really happy about that. If I'm able to hold myself accountable because of the promises that I make to myself, then I'm super stoked about that. So that's what I want to do. Outside of losing my mom, outside of my business doing well, those, that's pretty much all that has really changed in my life. Naturally, there's some things that, things, smaller things here and there that have changed, but nothing worthy of just like sitting down and bullet pointing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, I hope that you enjoy this video. You will see a lot more of me. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share my video, and come on on this journey with me, this, this journey of self-improvement, because I'm obsessed with improving myself. You know, not so much the outward, but the inward. I'm very, very, very committed to improving in inwardly. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys, I miss you guys a lot and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.